François Sébastien Charles Joseph de Croix, Count of Clerfait, the 14th of October 1733 to the 21st of July 1798, a Walloon, joined the army of the Habsburg monarchy and soon fought in the Seven Years' War. Later in his military career, he led Austrian troops in the war against Ottoman Turkey. During the French Revolutionary Wars, he saw extensive fighting and rose to the rank of field marshal. Early career Born at the castle of Brühl in Hainaut in the Austrian Netherlands, he entered the Austrian army in 1753. In the Seven Years' War he distinguished himself, earning rapid promotion, and received the military order of Maria Theresa decoration. At the conclusion of the peace Treaty of Hubertusburg, 15 February 1763, though still under 30, he had already become an Oberst colonel. During the revolt in the Netherlands in 1787, Clerfait, as a Walloon by birth, came under great pressure to abandon Emperor Joseph II. But he resisted all overtures, and in the following year went to fight in the Austro-Turkish War with the rank of Feldmarschall Lieutenant, Lieutenant Field Marshal. In an independent command Clerfait achieved great success, defeating the Turks at Mahadia and Caliphat. On 10 November 1788, the Emperor appointed him to the rank of Feldzugmeister. <inaudible> <inaudible> French Revolutionary Wars In 1792, as one of the most distinguished of the Emperor's generals, he received the command of the Austrian contingent in army of the Duke of Brunswick, and at Croissus Bois his corps inflicted a reverse on the troops of the French Revolution. In the Netherlands, he commanded the centre at the Battle of Gemaps on 6 November. He opened the campaign of 1793 with the victory of Aldenhoven and the relief of Maastricht, and on 18 March 1793 proved instrumental in causing the complete defeat of Charles Dumouriez at the Battle of Neerwinden. In October, however, his victorious career suffered a reverse at the Battle of Wattignies. He participated in the Flanders campaign against Charles Pichegru in 1794. Leading a flanking column from the north, he fought at the Battle of Torcoing on 17-18 May. A French force under Dominique Vandam slowed his progress until Joseph Suham defeated the Anglo-Austrian army on the southern part of the battlefield. Suham then turned against Clerfait and compelled him to retreat to the northeast. In the course of the campaign, Clerfait succeeded Prince Hosius of Coburg in the supreme command, but he failed to make headway against the French, and had to recross the Rhine, a Feldmarschall from the 22nd of April 1795, he commanded on the Middle Rhine against Jean-Baptiste Jordan, and this time the fortunes of war changed. Clerfait beat Jordan at Hoxt and brilliantly relieved Mainz. But the Austrian foreign minister Johann Thugut did not approve Clerfait's action in concluding an armistice with the French, so the field marshal resigned his command and became a member of the Aulic Council in Vienna. He died in 1798. <laughs> Commentary A brave and skillful soldier, Clerfait perhaps achieved more than any other Austrian commander except the Archduke Charles of Austria in the hopeless struggle of small dynastic armies against a French nation in arms. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>